Gang's all here. Patty Spittler from Pep Pals TV and, of course, Stewie and Maple as well. Thank you guys for some being here. I've gotten so many hugs and kisses ah. already. And you can see he has a new girlfriend now in you. Oh, I, yeah. He I'm saw Mackenzie went right over and sat down and go, I'm on. It's, it's time so to go sweet. on with I, I got so much love. It's wonderful to see you. At, before we dive in, I know we're going to talk about kitties, but how do these guys do with the 4th of July festivities? Oh, yeah, we talked about that a little bit yeah. with Tracy last time. But, uh, they do okay? And 4th of July is a Saturday night. More pets go missing, fight or flight, and they okay. take off, as Tracy had mentioned. Um, and on Sunday, is the shelters are mainly closed. Most of the pets go missing on the July the 4th mm -hmm. and 5th. And also, some shelters aren't open right now, so it's a real conundrum when okay. you put it all together. Best thing is keep them inside. Um, maybe check with your vet to get some uh, calming lotion or calming something. Yes. I hear thunder shirts work well for some. I haven't tried that. Okay. She could care less. She got me. He goes under. Right? The Isn't bed. that interesting? I re They're it's all different. different. Yeah. yeah. Well, thank you for that great info. Let's talk about cats, though. I know we're talking kitties coming up on Pet Pals TV. Oh, I mean, <laughs> look at that. He just <laughs> loves you. Um, Hi, sweetie. Uh, but he's the gentle giant for dogs. Oh, um, yes. Maine Coon. Oh, big, big kitties. They're the gentle giant of cats. And on our show, and by the way, she says hi to everybody here. Uh, KJ is our kitty oh, correspondent. We love KJ. So she's going to tell us a little bit about if you're considering a Maine Coon, what are you in for? So Ooh. take it away, KJ. They've been called the dogs of the cat world, and rightfully so. Maine Coons can weigh in at over 20 pounds, and they have the big personalities to match. This is Jaina. At 10 years old, she found herself in a shelter because her owner passed away, and the stress was really getting to her. After seeing a picture of her on Circle City Kitty's Facebook page, it wasn't long before she had a forever home in our house. Having never owned a Maine Coon, I turned to our Pet Pals TV viewers to find out more about the breed and what to expect when bringing one into our home. And what I found out was fascinating. Let's start with a little history. Maine Coons actually are from the state of Maine. The state is so proud of the breed that in 1985, they actually made the Maine Coon their official state cat. And their fur isn't just beautiful and majestic. They've evolved to survive those cold northeastern winters. Their coats are actually water repellent and their bellies have extra fur so that when they are sitting in the snow, it keeps them warm. Along with that, the giant paws that they have with big tufts of fur make perfect snowshoes for them. Plus, that fluffy tail that everybody loves so much is actually designed so that it can wrap around their bodies to keep them warm. And the Maine Coon can come in all kinds of colors and patterns from smoke and cream to mackerel and tortoiseshell, just to name a few. Wow, that is, they are beautiful cats, and I learned so much. I, now, how do these guys do with cats? Oh, they play well? I've always, and I'm, I just lost my mommy kitty. Oh, uh, after 19 years of former oh. feral, I uh, lost her last month, so I'll be oh, getting another one. Oh, you, you okay? You introduce them the right way. Okay. Make sure, you know, everybody's fed, everybody's neutered, everybody's happy. Right. Hey, where are you going? Get back up here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> she just wants to sit over in this chair. Well, ah, look at that tail. So introduce them the right way. <laughs> Okay. And, and monitor it, you know, in the beginning, and make sure, like anything, make sure that they're comfortable that with each other. Cool. He'll be fine. She probably could care less. <laughs> now, if you're going to get a new cat, do you know what kind of cat you're going to get? Uh, baby? From the Grateful Rescue and Sanctuary, mm -hmm. uh, the, uh, these uh, mommy cat came in and had kittens, and I saw an orange one that I really liked. Oh, that's an addition to this fabulous crew. I love it. And Patty, you are the ultimate. I mean, being the entertainment insider, I have to ask you, you <laughs> are just the queen of entertainment here with TV. So tell me, who, what's the, who's the favorite celebrity that you have interviewed? Uh, well, we were talking a little bit during the, the thing. Uh, uh, Tracy's what? talking. Uh, who? Morgan Freeman. <gasps> oh, Morgan Freeman. Oh, that <laughs> boy. <laughs> That voice. Ooh. Oh, and yeah. yeah. And Morgan he's a great tops. guy. He's and he's, he's still going strong too. Um, Meryl Streep is wonderful, oh, and she's fabulous. married to a gentleman here from Indiana, mm -hmm. Don Gummer. Um, oh gosh, Sandra Bullock. Um, we've got one of my favorites too, is Arnold Schwarzenegger. Arnold Schwarzenegger. We were just talking. And what's coming up? Total Recall. Oh, well, the 30th anniversary. 30th anniversary of Total yeah, Recall. Yeah, which is wild. And I talked to him for that. I went to Hollywood and talked to him. 
We talked many times. We can't He's so easy. He's like, oh, Patty. And then he holds up a <laughs> can of Coke that's sponsoring the movie. And <laughs> I mean, he just goes. So, uh, yeah, that was a big deal back then. They used a lot of effects. And uh, thir 30 year anniversary Total Recall. Yep. And I sit with Arnold. That is so cool. Well, that's this weekend on Great Day TV. And Pit Pals TV will have more on. On fact, what we're doing here. Well, thank you so much for being here, as always. And these two, adorable. Couldn't be even more adorable. Trace, do you agree? I do. I agree. <laughs>